and Tubians. Okay, so I'm, I was really stretching with the fandom name there. We'll just stick with Winterians. Uh, that's that seems safest. This is the first video that I'm doing where I'm answering one of your guys' questions. Celebration. And today's question comes from Twitter, uh, from Edna uh, at Alina Starkovs. And her question, which I thought was way appropriate, considering it is February and Valentine's Day is coming up, is who is the first character you fell in love with? But Sarah, Valentine's Day is next week. Why don't you save this question for next week's video? Next week happens to be the week of February 9th. And if you guys follow me on Twitter or Tumblr, uh, you might have seen a certain announcement a few days ago that something rather special is coming on February, the week of February 9th. Something about um, a cover that might match this one. So yeah, next week's video I will be uh, incoherently babbling about the beautifulness of the Ice Like Fire cover and some other surprises that are coming along with the cover reveal. Because yeah, it's not just a cover reveal. There's some other fantastic things that we get to share with you about Ice Like Fire. So stay tuned. Back to the question though. Today's question is who is the first character you fell in love with? Uh, when I first saw that question, I panicked like I always do because there are about a million and a half ways to answer that question. Who was the first main character I fell in love with? First side character, male character, female, platonic, romantic, the first character I really just wanted to ferociously make out with and then watch nosedive off a cliff. There's tons of ways to answer this question. In the spirit of Valentine's Day, I figured we should go with the most obvious, the romantic character. This is totally dating myself with this, but the first character that I romantically fell in love with was a character from a certain series of books that I was a hub sahest with as a child. I loved everything, everything about this series. Uh, to the point where all the stories that I wrote took place in the same time as this series and I became quite the little aficionado at what was it, like probably 10, 11 years old on the American Revolutionary War. I don't know if these books are still popular or actually I don't even think they still make these books. I think they did away with her character. Which was heartbreaking. Why would they get the de deleting somebody's child? Ugh. I have a lot of feelings about it. So without further delay, the series I'm talking about is Felicity the American Girl. The only American girl at all that matters. <laughs> So yeah, I fell madly in love with Benjamin Davidson. It had everything to do with the fact that he had his hair in a ponytail, which for some reason at 10 just seemed like the sexiest thing in the world to me. So my favorite book in this series was the fifth one, Felicity Saves the Day. So every book has like these full on pictures in it. And the, this is the only book in the entire series that has one of Ben. And so I read this book over and over simply because there's a picture of him with his long hair and he's injured and dirty, which was okay. So yes, that was the first character that I ever romantically fell in love with. I feel very vindicated in that love now because I've got recently gotten into the show Sleepy Hollow and I feel like Ichabod is basically just Benjamin Davidson aged about 200 years. Thank you very much for that question, Edna at Alina Starkovs. And if you other people, anybody else has questions for me that they want to me to answer on these videos, uh, just either leave them in the comments below the video or tweet them to me on Twitter or send them to me on Tumblr. Just make sure you hashtag them with like Q&A or Ask Sarah or something so I know that you want me to answer them on this video and not on Twitter or Tumblr. And please, please make sure to watch my Twitter and Tumblr stuff and YouTube next week for the big grand Ice Like Fire cover review and all the exciting news that's going to happen because I'm so excited to share you guys. February is going to be such an exciting month because then after the cover reveal I can start showing you the awesome Ice Like Fire swag that I've had made up. February is going to be a good month. I can feel it. Hold on.